Hello. At the beginning of this course, we are going to learn how to filter or select our data. Because there are many situations when we want to filter out some cases before running our statistical procedures. For example, when we are interested only in the results on a certain group of the whole population. For example, only the women or the respondents over 40. In this first lesson, we'll see how to filter the data in base R using brackets. For the examples, I'm going to use a CSV file called Demographics CSV. It contains information, demographic information, about um, a group of car owners, a population of car owners. I am going to um, create a new data frame, demo, based on this file using the read.csv function. So, let's get started. Let's view our demo data frame. So, our data frame contains information like age, marital status, married or unmarried, income, education, that's a categorical variable, variable with uh, five or six categories, car price, car category, which is also a categorical variable with three categories, standard, economy and luxury, gender with two categories, of course, female and male, and whether the subject is retired or not, with two categories, no and yes. Okay, each time we operate a filtering uh, procedure, a new data frame, demo2, will be created. Let's see how to use one filter variable first. Let's select only the female subjects from our, from our data frame. So, we are going to create a new data frame, demo2, from the initial variable demo. The filtering condition is put here in the brackets. So, the variable gender must be equal to female. You notice that here we have a double equal because it's a conditional equality. After this filtering condition, we have to put a comma and then nothing after the comma. This is important. This way we tell the program that we want to retain all the variables, all the columns of the initial data frame. So, we want to filter uh, the cases, the subjects by gender, but we want all the columns, all the variables. Let's do it now. Control, Enter. And let's see our new variable, our new data frame, excuse me, demo2. As you can notice here, in the column gender, all the subjects in this new data frame are female. So, the male subjects were excluded, were removed from the data frame, as we requested. Now, let's retain the subjects with the income greater than 100. So, let's make the filtering using a continuous variable. Again, the filtering condition is put here in the brackets, so the variable income must be greater than 100. Again, after the filtering condition, we put a comma and then nothing. Let's do that. And now let's see the variable, uh, excuse me, the new data frame, uh, demo2. Let's look here in the income column. We have here only the incomes higher than 100. If you roll down here, only the subjects with, with the income over 100 were retained. Now, if you only want to keep some variables, some columns, for example, you want to keep only the variables 1, 3, and 7. This means age, income, and 
gender 1, 3 and 7. OK. The filtering condition is the same, so the income must be higher than 100. But after the comma, you put the concatenate, the C function, and here in the parenthesis you put the variables you want to keep. 1, 3 and 7. OK? Let's run. Let's look now at the data frame demo 2. Only the variables age, income and gender were retained and all the incomes are of course greater than 100 as our filtering condition requested. What to do if you want to drop some variables? For example, you want to drop the variables 6, 7 and 8. This means car category, gender and retired. The filtering condition is the same. The income is greater than 100. And after the comma, you put again the C function, but with the negative in front of it, meaning you want to drop these variables 6, 7 and 8. So you put in the parenthesis the 6 column H. Let's see what happens. Control Enter. And let's view our new data frame. Control Enter. As you notice, only these variables, age, marital, income, education, and car price were retained. The other variables were removed. And of course, again, all the incomes on this column are greater than 100. Now let's see how to use two or more filter variables. That's very simple. Let's suppose you want to select only the female subjects with the income over 100. So here in the brackets you have to put two uh, conditions, two filtering conditions, separated by the ampersand. So the gender must be equal to female and the income must be higher than 100. Let's run it. And let's view the data frame again. Okay, here on this column, the gender is female in all the data frame. And here in the income column, all the values are greater than 100. That's all for this lecture. Thank you.